Hey guys, Jim from Measure Square here. Welcome to part three of the product assignment tutorials and the getting started series for Measure Square 8. In this video, we will cover flash coving a single room and flash coving multiple rooms. To flash cove a single room, once our product is added to that area, I can simply right click within that room, select room edit, and then select set self coving. You will then receive a pop-up box where you can put the height or the width of that self coving. For this example, I will put four inches, select OK, and now you'll see within this room it is now self coved. We will have the notation next to the room number showing coved four inch, and you will also see the animation as it goes past the room border into the actual wall. And if you will notice, it will not automatically self-cove into our doorway. The program will take into account that you have a doorway added. If we would like to self-cove multiple rooms on a takeoff, we can simply hold down the control key, select the appropriate rooms, right click within one of those rooms, go to the room edit tool again, select self-coving. From here, we can put that four inches again for our example select OK. Now you'll see the other two rooms are also self-coved at four inches. We can also self-cove multiple rooms by selecting the self-cove feature on the product itself. If I right-click on the VCT2 product that I have already added into my three rooms, I can select the set self-coving function from here. I'll add that four inches one more time. If we have a multiple tabs, I can select to apply this to all the tabs for this product as well. Once I have inputted my size for self-coving, I select OK. And you'll see all three of these rooms are now self-coved at four inches as well. In our next video, we will go over adding a border design to a hallway.